In this video, I'm going to show you the five step process I take when creating beautifully natural looking nano brows, also known as machine hair stroke brows. Steps that you can replicate to really wow your next clients. Hi, I'm Kim from Kim Lloyd Permanent Makeup, where I help you to do two things. One, become a highly skilled permanent makeup artist, and two, grow your PMU business. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, click subscribe to be notified of the next videos. Um, and anything I mention in this video will be linked in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into the topic. So perhaps you're a microblading artist or you're a powder brow artist who wants to transition into nano brows, also known as machine hair stroke brows, um, or perhaps you've already taken a nano, nano brows course, but you're just not getting the results on your client that you want to see. There's still a lot of confusion there. Uh, then this video is for you. I'm gonna take you through the five steps that I take. I'm gonna show you on latex um, for how I create the beautiful, natural looking machine hair strip brows that you will see in my Instagram feed. Make sure you also stick around to the end because then I'll give you three tips for how to choose the correct machine hair strip pattern for each individual client. Okay, let's get started on the latex demonstration. Step one. So before we start with any tattooing, uh, we need to draw the sketch on the client. Now I will do this with crayon, so I map out the shape of the brows first um, with inked string and then with a crayon I draw on the primary strokes only. Step 2 first pass onto the primary strokes so we use a soft hatching motion to create these strokes we're just testing the skin at this stage so we don't want to go too deep um, and by doing light hatching ensures that we can just test the skin um, staying on top of the skin we're not going too deep we're just implanting a trace of the pigment in the skin at this stage So continue with your hatching all along the stroke. Usually I'll start from the tail and work my way forward. Um, and move yourself around the client while you're doing the hatching motion. So note how my pinky finger, my little finger, is really close to the tip of the needle. Um, and I'm always adjusting my 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 hand, my where my, my little finger's positioned. Um, so it's always next to the needle head for stability. Step three. So once we've done our first pass of the primary strokes, we then wipe away all the ink um, and then we go over these primary strokes again with our second pass. Now for the second pass at this stage, I generally work from the middle of the stroke and work my way outwards towards both sides. Um, this way we get a nice natural hair stroke effect so it's slightly thicker in the middle and tapered and pixelated towards the end. Again we're making sure we're not going too deep in the skin just very much staying on the top of the skin so superficial, um, superficial hand motion. So just gently moving up and down the hair stroke and then softly exiting out of the skin at the end of the hair stroke. Step four. So once we've done the second pass of our primary strokes, we then 
move on to the secondary strokes now before I do these strokes I generally draw them on with a crayon first um, and then I go over them with with the machine um, again we do one to two passes of the primary strokes um, once the brows are looking full we then do the the tertiary strokes step five uh, which are the third set of strokes and these are the fluffy ones um, which just add um, more detail to the eyebrow and we're just filling in any of those larger gaps um, with lighter fluffier hair strokes so I'll just keep on working on the brow filling in all those gaps until I'm happy with the finished result And here we have the finished result. So as you can see, it's a nice, fluffy, natural hair stroke eyebrow with some dimension in there. So some of the strokes are darker and thicker than the others. Um, and all the ends of the hair strokes are tapered and some of them are pixelated, um, which gives a really nice, uh, beautiful, soft finish to the eyebrow. So I hope you found that tutorial useful and you can use those steps to create your own beautiful latex practice or on your next client. Um, so now let's get into the bonus, which is the three tips for how to choose the correct pattern uh, for each individual client. Tip number one, always consult with your client ahead of the appointment. What kind of brow do they want? Do they want to go full and thick and fluffy or do they want to keep them uh, thin and tidy? Uh, always listen to your client's desires and try and create a brow for them according to that. Tip number two, the front of the brow is really important. This is the focal point of when we're talking to somebody. So the front of the brow is really visual. So it's important to really define with your client how you want those front strokes. Do they want them uh, upward pointing and fluffy or do they want them more demure, demure and pointing to the side? Uh, so always consult on the front of the brows before you determine the rest of the pattern. Tip number three, make sure you find the natural spine of the client's eyebrow. Look at their hair growth direction. Where does it grow? Where do the top strokes and the upward strokes meet in the middle? That determines where their natural spine is. If you follow the natural spine, you will be able to get the most natural looking eyebrows for that particular client. So that's the end of the video today. I hope you found all that useful. If you would like some free brow pattern worksheets, there's a link below in the description uh, where you can uh, click on that link, enter your email, and I will email to you uh, three pattern worksheets. Uh, step by step, it takes you through how to create these patterns. So you can practice at home on paper and on latex, and then eventually use them on your clients. So make sure you click the link in the description below for those worksheets. Um, and then I will see you in the next video.